Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Dot Destroyer book and the Orgoman products. I am here today with mathematician Louis Blois, and he's going to go over a really solid question, a word type of a question. Is yes, that how you would describe it? A comparison of sets, I would say. All right, I hope you enjoy it. Go to it, Professor. Okay, here we go with uh, the same preamble here, the comparison question. In this question, compare the two quantities given using the information provided. If quantity A is larger, choose A. If quantity B is larger, choose B. If the two quantities are equal, choose C. If the relationship cannot be determined, choose D. All right, let's read this problem and see what we get. Okay, 75% of the population of a town subscribes to one or both local newspapers, the Daily Tablet and the Herald Gazette. Of the 60% of the population who subscribe to the Herald Gazette, two-thirds also read the Daily Tablet. Go, quantity A, the percent of the town that subscribes to both newspapers, or quantity B, the percent of the town that subscribes to only one of the two newspapers. Okay. So, uh, immediately, we should think of in terms of Venn diagrams in order to and analyze the intersection of these two sets as described. So, 75%, we know that 75% is going to be encompassed in these two circles, the left circle of which represents the readers of the Daily Tablet, and the right circle of which represents the readers of the Herald Gazette. Okay, so we know that 60% of the population subscribes to the Herald Gazette. Well, that means I can right away know that 15% is going to subscribe to the Daily Tablet because 60% is in, in, encompassed in this right circle of Herald Gazette readers. Now, two-thirds of the population, um, yes, uh, here we go, the, uh, the, of the 60% of the population who subscribe to the Herald Gazette, two-thirds also read the Daily Tablet. So what's two-thirds? of 60%. That's going to be 3 into 60 goes 20. 2 times 20 is 40%. So I know that 40% of the population also reads the, the uh, daily tablet. So I know this is going to be 40% and this is going to be 20%. So let's take a look at our uh, population, our Venn, the Venn diagram here. Inside the Herald Gazette circle, we have a full 60%, and if we add all three together, we have a 75% that represents the entire population. That reads the either newspaper. Okay, now let's evaluate quantity A and quantity B with our Venn diagram fully labeled. Quantity A, the percent of the town that subscribes to both newspapers, well, that's going to be the area of intersection here. That's going to be the 40%. Quantity B is the percent of the town that subscribes to only one of the two newspapers. Well, the proportion that subscribes to only one are found on the endpoints of this Venn diagram, the 15% plus the 20% which adds up to 35%. So quantity A is 40%, quantity B is 35%, so the answer is A, quantity A is larger. And there we are. I hope you enjoyed that video. Would it be safe to say if you didn't draw the Venn diagram you were cooked? Or you, uh, would... you can do it without the Venn diagram, but some people, some students are visual learners, so it's nice to have a little asset like this to jot stuff down. What would you say would be the tip off for a student to use a Venn diagram? Because uh, well, honestly, I'm not sure I really would have done it that oh, way. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, what would have been the tip off? Anything that you can... Well, you see, you, you, you find that there are intersections here, intersections between two described sets. And when that scenario might presents itself, that immediately would suggest a, a Venn diagram. It could be done without it. It could be done without it. But I, I thought that for visual purposes... I okay, I hope you guys understand that. Um, it was a very clever way he did that. And if you can understand the Venn diagram, it made the problem a lot easier. All right, I'll see you guys in study group. Good day to you. Bye-bye.